Hello Leo, this is your top secret cross watchers video, the ultimate guide to your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions, and what's going on beneath the surface for which they are even unaware. We're going to take a look and spy on them now. Okay, Leo, when I look at this, there's an overview of a very specific story here. Now, I would always tell you, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, your rising sign is every bit as important as your sun sign. So, the reading that this is going to be for is people or someone, those Leos who are out there, who are in a third party situation, um, that there is a secret relationship with somebody who's married, who really can't, isn't available to come to you at this time. So if you do not fit that profile, it is not your reading. So please check out your uh, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, and I always have playlists attached, so it's easy to find. So let's get started for those for whom this resonates. Uh, we get the moon card. So there is, your person is feeling a real sense of depression, being underwater, you know, this person feels like, oh, she's not really drowning. She's in a place that's somewhat comfortable, but you know, we have a black wolf and a white wolf howling at the moon. So this person is feeling very underwater without you. They really, they do. This person wants to be married to you. I can tell you that right now. You know, but I also get with Pisces energy, it's 12th house, it's secret energy. So I have to say, this is a third party. They're married to someone else instead of you. This person would love to be married to you. Look at this card of celebration. This is how they feel. Remember that. This is how they feel. They feel like they want to build a stability and a home with you. This person and may not have even told you. You know, when I look at some of these cards here, this person may not have told you any of this, but they want to have fun with you. They want to celebrate life with you. They want to build a foundation with you. And I would actually say if you know this person through work or business, which is possible, they just love to be around you. The two of you may actually, you know how they always talk about the office wife? There is some sort of energy around this relationship that could indicate that the two of you have worked together, you know. So, and we also get Hierophant card. What would they like in the future with you? How do they see the relationship? They see you as somebody with whom you would have a very enlightened marriage, a very traditional marriage, you know, old school, but one in which you determine and you define what that looks like, you know? I would often, yeah, I'm gonna give an example here. I was in the airline industry for a lot of years. And um, there were people who literally worked in Chicago and commuted to London to be with their lover. And they would come to work for like eight days at a time. They would they would consolidate their whole work schedule so that they were gone eight or 10 or 12 days a month. And then they would spend the rest of the time with their person. That's the kind of enlightenment I'm talking about. Somebody who's not so rigid, who says, well, every single night we need to sit down to dinner. And you know, it's, it's, a, it's a very enlightened way of living is what this person wants with you. The two of wands indicates that this person is at a crossroads. They need to make a decision. They know that. They absolutely know that. I get that the they see you as their best friend. They love you dearly. I think that they've loved you for a long time. I think you may have known each other for a number of years. Could be anywhere from, you know, the number, let's see, we get, we get 18. So that would be like anywhere from 18 weeks to seven or eight or 10 years. The Two of Wands, now that doesn't mean you're always involved, but the Two of Wands says your person wants to be able to make a choice to come towards you. Three of Cups. They see you as their best friend. They see you as the Trinity. They see you as the person in, that could, they could run barefoot with, you know, under the stars of a starry, you know, of a beautiful open sky at night that you could hang out with your friends that the two of you are best friends it's a penultimate like i want to marry my very best friend somebody who doesn't judge me somebody who accepts me for the way i am the seven of pentacles says that they want to make an investment in you they are invested in you they are watching the situation very carefully for an opportunity in which to give more to the relationship 
again, I think that has a, a work connotation. You may know them through work. This person is quite honestly heartbroken. They are really, it looks like the two of you may be in separation or this person is on the surface. There's another storyline. On the surface, they could be telling you like, hey, you know, I'm married, I can't really make a different choice, I really love you, but you know, I'm heartbroken, but I have to stay the course in my marriage, which is what it looks like for now. But this person feels as though the earth is, you know, it's like that the world has burned to a crisp like a forest fire, and that the destruction that's gone on in giving you the news that they can't leave or they don't feel free to leave this relationship that they're in right now, they feel it's, it's really, it's tearing them apart. That's what I'm seeing. It's really tearing them apart. This person is like screaming silently in pain. The Four of Swords card says Spirit is saying that this person needs to heal, that they still love you very deeply. They aren't showing it. They're being quiet. They're withdrawn that this person is trying to heal their heart and they're working on that. Nine of Swords says that they aren't sleeping at night. They feel remorseful and regretful over something they did with you. They feel as though they made a decision that has denied the reality of your love. There's a beautiful dove of peace and enlightenment here and this person doesn't see it. But look at, there's a tattered, dirty blanket in a field you know, a beautiful starry night and this person is filled with remorse and regret over what's happened in this relationship. It just looks like it's a secret love affair and they love you so much. The judgment card says that this person is in this sort of transformation, transcendence. They need to be able to ascend to the level that they can make the decision. They need to be willing because right now they feel as though their whole world is burned down. They feel as though in their heart space. And I don't think that if this, per and I see this person is being married to someone else, although they want to be married to you, this person is oblivious. I don't think this person knows that you exist. Here's the other thing. Your person doesn't see them as a bad person. Your love interest, your lover does not see your their spouse, their significant other, as a person who deserves to be left or abandoned. The core of their relationship is solid, it is what it is, but you know, it's very Queen of Pentacles energy. The Queen of Pentacles is, you know, very all about let's take care of the children, let's build a home, let's go to work, let's have a nice career. But what we see here is a Knight of Swords, the truth telling card is the cobra would like to strike at at this relationship and yet they don't the judgment card says that they know their person that they're married to does not really deserve it this person has really done nothing wrong and that is what is bringing about this intense heartbreak confusion pain this person you know your person leo loves other people they don't want to hurt anybody. Your person with whom you are involved is really, really spiritual. It's really, really beautiful energy. You are involved with someone who's quite beautiful. We see inner beauty as well as outer beauty. The life is speeding up though. That is the energy. Life is speeding up. It really speaks to the fact that you are going to be less focused on this person and more about moving into your um, your power, you know, whatever you need to do career-wise. Life is speeding up. We see this beautiful antelope, beautiful antelope, speeding forward quickly. So Spirit is really saying that your best course of action is to sort of just let this person work through this problem. They have to be the ones to come up with the answer. And there is always enough. There's always enough love. There's always enough prosperity. There's always enough in your relationship to carry this through to an outcome that you would really love to have. So I would see this as a long-term situation where someone feels as though they have to take baby steps, they have to build a strong foundation, they have to do everything the right way um, in this relationship. I do want to get some clarifiers to see if this person has the courage to leave. 
I feel as though they want to. I feel as though, let's see if they're going to be empowered to do so, and if so, what that might look like. Okay, so is this person able to come to you? Is this somebody that can actually make this break in a healthy way that they can live with because this person feels really guilty about, you know, the cheating, which is a good sign because you really don't want someone who's flip about it. Six of coins equal give and take. They can give to you in the future. Good. Spirit is saying both of you need to take time out to heal. What is this energy for a beautiful Leos? Can this person come through for you? Page of Pentacles. They are studying, planning, um, looking at the situation in a very practical way. Uh, it really does appear that it involves children. Children who are younger, though. So there's an age thing here. The Devil card energy says that they don't see it happening quickly. The Devil says that this person could even be a little bit manipulative. Oh, here we go. Three of Swords is repeating. So this person feels as though the Seven of Cups, they may feel guilty about trying to tell you that they're leaving sooner than they think they can. They do think it's divine timing coming into play, but right now this person is not really feeling that the truth of the matter is that they can leave probably in a, in a good while here. And when I say a good while, like a long time, this person feels as though they have to juggle the relationship that they need to, and they're afraid to tell you, they are afraid to tell you what their choice is. Devil energy, they want to keep you constricted, they want to keep you in the relationship, but the Three of Swords, you know, again, that kind of three swords through your heart, their heart, that they're, they're wildly in love with you. I do see this as probably some soulmate energy because the Devil card is the dark side of the soulmate. It's the card that traps us. So right now, I'm not seeing, readings are typically good for about six months. I would say that in this period of time of six months, I don't see a lot of change. Do they love you? Absolutely. Do they want to be married to you? Absolutely. Do they want to be able to leave a partner? Absolutely. Uh, do they think that they're free to do it? No, because they feel so guilty that the partner's done nothing to deserve it. So go on with your life and know that your person can and is likely, because of the Wheel of Fortune, is likely and to choose when the time is right to be able to fulfill this promise of love. Sending you love and light from Chicago, Leo. Send some back and tell me where you're from.